Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will be walking you guys through the application I use for journaling called Journey. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. About a year ago, I was using Diary, but the application has a massive bug with local storage. The application simply doesn't support local storage of your diary entries on your device. You have to use iCloud for your entries. And personally, I'm not about to put my personal life on the cloud. <laughs> For my journaling application, I prefer having an offline copy of my diary entries. I have been using Journey since January this year, but I journal on my phone, not on my iPad, because then when I use my iPhone, it feels like I'm texting. I can journal from anywhere I want. I really like keeping my diary or journal on my phone because it's so easy to type from anywhere, anytime, and I can record videos, audio on the go and edit to my journal. And I'm super excited to show you guys all the stuff you can do in the application. You know how most of us post our lives on social media and share with the world? I do exactly the same thing, except I only share with my phone and my diary, my journaling application. I find it liberating to record my life in a diary. I don't have to worry about political correctness or how I look. I can get to record and document my life as honest as I can be because no one is going to see it. So there is no pressure. I do all my personal social media stuff on my phone in my journaling application. For this review, I will be reviewing this application on my iPad Pro 2018 for this video. Yeah, that is because obviously all my entries are on my phone. <laughs> Journey is a cross-platform application. It is available for your Mac OS, iPad, iOS, Windows, and Linux. They even have a web application. You can get it for a subscription or for a one-time purchase. At the moment, I am using the one-time purchase, cheapo, I know, but I do intend to sign up for the subscription because I'm not against all subscriptions before some of you guys eat me alive. I just wanted to review this application for the lifetime premium first before signing up for the subscription. That way, I can can be able to compare and contrast the two versions for you guys and yeah the monthly subscription is not expensive it's four dollars a month or you can pay thirty dollars a year so i'm not complaining because i love the application obviously yes the application has face id for some weird reason you can't use your face id like in my case i just don't feel like lifting up the ipad i have a four digit passcode for that you can customize how your application looks to give your diary a personal touch. You can pick a font that you prefer for your diary entries. You can pick the font size you want. Line spacing. Theme color. and your wallpaper. So this is the wallpaper that you get when your application is logged and you want to unlock it. And I try to go with something inspiring, something beautiful, something mesmerizing. If you don't like the options that you're given in the application, you can pick your own. And the application supports dark mode. I am a happy human being. It's absolutely beautiful. Though I have to admit that dark mode still needs a bit of work. I come to closing and opening the application every time I switch to dark mode. So hopefully this is something that they will fix. You can pick the units you want that make sense to you. You know, temperature, distance. You can choose the first day of your week. Time format language. The application supports 11 languages at the moment and I hope that they add more. You can choose what map you prefer using. So you can choose to auto add location. I really love this feature because it automatically adds a location when I create a new entry. It is very accurate. I am impressed every time. My sound effects are turned off. If you want to have some life in your application, if you want to add some life to it, you might like these. 
These settings will get you started in the application and they'll help you prep your application for your first entry. So this is the home page of the application. On the left, I have a catalog of all the diary entries that I've added in the last couple of hours. And on the right, you get to read the entry that you select on the left. You can get to mark your favorite entries right at the top here. You can display your entries on the left as shown under the journey tab. Each entry has a date and time of creation and the first few sentences of that entry. So your latest entries are obviously at the top and your oldest at the bottom, which naturally makes sense. You can view your entries as a calendar as well. So for your calendar, you see your calendar for the month at the top here, at the very top. In my application at the moment, because of my theme, all the pink dates are the dates with an entry and today's date is the one that's you know it's the circled one the one with the you know the circle you can get to view all the entries for a particular day if you pick that date so if i was to pick the second for example i can see all the entries that i created on the second you can look at your entries according to photos that you've added in the application. So for this, you can just go to your media and check out the different media you have and select the media that you want to go through. That will send you to the entry with that media. And you can also look at your entries according to where you created them, where you entered them geographically. This location feature is very accurate. It actually tags my address to the point. And I'm like, what? I love it. But when I used to journal on paper, I had to write all that information down. I had to write the time, the date, where I was. But now I don't have to do it because the application just does it for me. So you get to see how many entries you have entered. And you also get a mood chart. And what I really love about this is that all these analytics, all this information is available in the application offline. I always have my throwback turned off. I'm not one of those people that go back to read about stuff that happened in the past. I journal to get things off my chest and to create space in my brain. <laughs> it feels like my brain is saturated and I'm running out of memory. So I have to, you know, empty it to create more space. Get it? Oh, that's so funny but it's true it's very true i tend to forget stuff that i write in my journal so if i journal something and if i wrote it down i'll get it off my chest and i'll probably forget i'll probably forget about it because my brain's like okay this has been recorded so i don't have to remember it so yeah if you wanted to sign up for a journal coach you have a few to choose from as you can see i'm not doing any of this stuff you know um yeah the application has a variety of these to choose from and it's kind of exciting now let's create a diary entry to see what you can do in the application. To create a diary entry, press this plus button at the top and it opens up a new window. You can attach files to your entries, photos, videos, audio recordings. For photos and videos, I wish the application could access documents in the files application. That would be kind of cool. So you get a limit on the video sizes you can add and the application alerts you in case you choose a video that is too large. The application allows you to add a video of up to 100 megabytes, which is not very big, but you know, it's something. For each diary entry, you can add up to 10 photos. If I add a video or an audio file, I can't add photos after that. It's great that I can add photos to my diary entries, but in Journey, one of the few things I dislike about the application is the fact that I can't integrate my photos with my text in the application. Take this entry, for example. You can already tell from this thumbnail that it contains a photo, and when I tap on it, the photo is up here away from the rest of the content. What is the point of me adding my photos if I can't put them to the relevant text? I hope that they can change this. Like I've already mentioned, you can tag your location in the application. On my phone, I have this set automatically and I've already mentioned that it is very accurate. The application been picking me up in coffee shops and malls and stuff like that. Location is related to weather, so you can only see how the weather was on the day you entered your entry if you have a location. The application also determines what you're doing. Not sure how it can tell I am eating. The motion sensors on your phone will allow the application to guess what you're doing. It has managed to tell when I was, you know, writing an entry from a bus. 
You can choose your mood if you want to see your mood chart over a long period of time. I always forget to pick my mood, um, but seriously, how hard could it be? I think this is a brilliant feature to keep track of your mood so you know, you know, if you're mostly depressed, mostly happy or mostly excited. You can also add tags to your diary entries. I tag my dreams and movies that I like. And what other tags do I have? Hmm. I can't remember. The application doesn't really have a good way to access these tags after you've created them. So I hope that they could have maybe a tab because then there's really no point of me creating tags if I can't access them. Kind of defeats the purpose of having tags in the first place. So yeah, a tab for my tags would be quite useful. The application has a decent tool set for writing your entries. You have three heading types, H1, H2, H3. You can add codes to your entries. You can choose what color your text will have and you can also make it bold, underline it, strike it out, you know the basic editing tools and these are quite decent options. You can highlight things in your diary entries if you want them to stand out and you can choose to remove all the formatting that you've just added to your text with this one icon. You can add bullet points. Who uses bullet points for journaling? Am I the only disorganized human who just rants on and writes entries that are prose? You can also add numbered lists. Those I can get if I was listing the number of people I don't like, for example, I would definitely need a numbers list. I've never used it before though, but I can see how that can be useful. You also have interactive lists that you can create. If you need that sort of thing in your diary, this can actually be fun. Have you ever made predictions about something and then it actually happens? This could be a decent way to track that sort of thing. You can even add links to your entries, web links, URL links. Just like photos, the application automatically determines where your links go. Um, I hope that the application can start allowing me to put things where I want them to be. You can then get a word count of how many words you've written in your entries and also character count. You can export each diary entry as a zip file, a PDF, a doc file, or you can print it if you want, which I completely disapprove of, being paperless and all. You can also publish your articles to WordPress or Tumblr. Quite useful, that little feature. You can sync your entries via Google Drive. Personally, I'm not syncing my entries and that's just my personal preference. But if you wanted to access your diary entries or your content from multiple devices, you will have to sign into your Google Drive account. Personally, I've decided to keep my entries on one device. Since I don't have a cloud backup of my entries because I don't want one, I would rather manually backup my entries. So I can determine what I want to back up. And where I want to store it. I'm really enjoying digital journaling. I have moved from the traditional journaling approach where I sit down and I handwrite my thoughts. Now I just do it on the go. I can do it on the bus. I can do it on the street. And that really works for me. I can journal at any time. I can capture moments as they happen if I want to. But yeah, that is my journaling style. What journaling style are you using? So yeah, it gives this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I guess a thumbs down if you didn't. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.